Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this uh, resizing animation effect using the PyQt5 library in Python. So let me just give you a quick demo first, you know, in case you feel confused. Right here, I have a Windows application. And inside this window form, I have this uh, push button. So if I click on this push button, so here I'm creating th this uh, window expanding animation effect. Like what you saw that, the window didn't expand immediately. It takes its time and slowly expanding, resizing the window and until it reaches to a, a certain point. So that's the effect that we'll be creating uh, in this tutorial. So let me go ahead and uh, insert in my code snippet. And from the Qt widget module, I'm going to add the push button. From the pyqt5.qt core module, I'm going to import the query at uh, uh, qrets, not qrets, qrets class and qproperty animation class. So let's see. So here let's uh, create our class, our application class. I'm going to call this application, I'm going to call this uh, class app demo. I'm going to pass the keyword class as the parent class. So we need to set the base height first. So I'm going to create uh, several attributes. So the first attribute is the base height. And let's say I want to set my base height as uh, 50 uh, points, 50, uh, value of 50 pixels. And I want to extend height all the way to 150. So let's call this uh, attribute extend height. Actually, let's do that to 300. And next, I'm going to pass the QRED uh, class to get the Windows uh, dimension. So let's do uh, let's set the the uh, the left value to 600 and the top value to 300. And for the width, let's do 300 as well. And for the height, we're going to pass the base height attribute. And next, I'm going to set the geometry. So I'll pass the self the uh, red attribute. Now let's take a look. So if I uh, create my app demo object, oops, uh, here's a typo. Oh, I see. So here I have, uh, I have an extra self. That's why. Okay, so this is going to be our uh our app so when we launch the app this is what the the window form is going to look like so we have the the window height so currently set at 50 uh points and basically when we click on the push button it's going to expand the window form uh, all the way to 300 so based on the extent height value that we provide now let's continue so here let's go ahead and uh, create our button So let's call the button uh, expand. And we're going to pass the parent object. Inside the window form, I'm going to move to, to the right by 20 and move to the bottom by 15. And let's uh, connect the button to a, a, a method. So we'll use the button click dot connect uh, statement. And we need to connect the button to a method. So let's go ahead and create the method. And let's call, uh, and I'm going to call the method uh, resize window. And I'm going to create a variable. So current heights. Let's call the variable current heights. And we're going to pass the window heights value to the current heights uh, variable. So here I'm going to insert if condition and I'm going to say that if the base height is equals to the current height, so that means the window is not uh it's not uh outer or, or any way that it's being is resized. And oops, let me finish the statement first. And I'm going to expand the, the window form. So 
So we're going to get the the current uh, extend height value. So extend uh, oops dot sub dot extend height. And we're going to change the button caption. So I'm going to set that to expand. And otherwise, we're going to reverse the order. Oops, so we base height. And the base height will become extend height. And the extend height will become base height. And I'm going to change the button caption to uh, shrink. And to apply the animation effect, so we're going to create our view property animation uh, object. So I'm going to call this uh, attribute animation. And we're going to pass the parent object. And here we want to change the geometry of the form. So I'm going to uh, pass the so I'm going to convert the the name geometry to uh, bytes. Oops, uh, here's the typo geometry. And let me make a copy, just a couple copies of the uh, statement. So let's say I want to set the the animation duration to let's do uh eight seconds. So for eight seconds will be eight hundred. Basically, uh, for a second is a hundred. And so basically, if you do the calculation, uh, so if you do the calculation, eight hundred is a second. So you want to divide by, so you want to times the seconds by a hundred. And we need to set our start value. So here we'll pass the same value of the as the the beginning uh, Q red uh, value. So I can so I can just copy uh this statement right here and I'll just paste it. And I also need to set the end value. And this is gonna be the extent height. And lastly we need to start the animation. And that's it. So that's all the Python script that we need to write. Now if me just do a double check. Okay, so if I launch the application, and here's a typo. Oh, so here I forgot to connect the click uh, click events or sync nodes to the method to the resize window method. Okay, so now here's the window form. Now if I click on expand, and that means I have a typo. Okay, current height. So if I click on the push button, now as you can see that uh, the window form expand uh, automatically with this uh, animation effect. Now if I click on the push button again, uh, okay, that's interesting. So let me check. So, so I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back. Right, so I'm back. So here I so I figured out the issue. So the issue here is that. Uh, these two properties, these two values right here, self dot base height and the self dot extends height. So it should be uh just the base height local variable, not the class uh property. So let me remove the self. Now if I launch the application again, now this time if I click on the push button, it's going to uh, expand the window with with the animation effect. Now if I click on the push button again, and this time uh it's going to shrink the the uh, window form back to the original uh, size, but also with the animation effect. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.